Hi everybody, this is Stephen Brook and welcome to my YouTube channel on architectural photography and composition. What we're doing as architectural photographers are taking the three-dimensional world and putting it into two dimensions. But there are some things compositionally that make it difficult for us to create the sense of depth that we really want. So let's look at three particular compositional no-nos. The first one is to put the, the, a diagonal right into the corner of the frame. What that does is it calls attention to the frame, the very thing we don't want to call attention to. We want to create a sense of depth. So rather than have this diagonal go right to the corner, it either should have enough sky over the top to, to frame it, or you can do this and let it break through to give it more of a sense of monumentality. The second thing is, don't let the corner of a building like a roof line terminate right on the edge of the frame for the very same reason. You don't want to call attention to the frame. You want to create a sense of depth. Doing this calls attention to that corner. Instead, make sure on that side you give this corner plenty of room to breathe. And lastly, if you're going to photograph a building off axis, do not put the corner of the building in the center of the picture. What that does is creates two vanishing points. Your eye doesn't know which way to go. Instead, if you're going to photograph a building off axis, make sure that the corner of the building is not in the center. In this case, I have a two by three compositional uh, system here and I put the corner of my building right two-fifths of the way in the rest of the building three-fifths of the way in these compositional these little compositional tools will help you create depth in your images these and other points of composition are in my new architectural photography and composition book so have a look and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel